Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. Hey, everyone, today's video what in the world do I do with all this zucchini and squash? So come along today, I'm going to show you what I'm doing with at least this batch of zucchini and squash. Hey everyone, welcome to the Farming Pastor's Wife. Today I have got to do some work. It is going to be a crazy, crazy week. We're selling chickens, I'm packing up, getting ready to go to the beach, and my garden has started producing like crazy. I have this zucchini right here in this big tub. Well, with a couple of green peppers in there. But I also have a, I don't know if you can see it, but over there is a five-gallon bucket. And it is full of squash and zucchini. I'm going to make a squash casserole out of the squash tonight. Um, but I've got to do something with this zucchini or it's going to go bad. And... So this has been in the refrigerator. So I'm gonna wash this up and start shredding it up. We're gonna start preserving some zucchini, um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna use this crazy looking zucchini that <laughs> some of you said it was a um, a Mexican zucchini. So I'm not sure, but anyway, I'm gonna shred it up just like it's a zucchini, and we're gonna get started. So I'm gonna wash all of it. I'm going to trim the ends, wash them all, and I'm going to try my Ninja food processor to see how that works. We'll see. So, all right, I'm going to do all that off camera because that's just boring, and I'll see you back when we start getting things ready. Okay, everybody, I have half of the zucchini um, shredded that I need to get shredded, so I need two of these. Um, so, and I will say... I don't like using my Ninja for this. I have decided to shred them by hand. It's much faster, much easier. I like the shred better. It just works better, which sounds weird that I like doing it by hand versus a machine, but it's true. So since I've got half of it done, I want to go ahead and get my brine started. Now I will say this is a recipe from um, Rachel over at 1870s Homestead. I will link her video down below if I remember, but if not, go look it up. Um, and so I'm going to grab the sugar. I'll meet you back here and we will get this brine started. Okay, everybody, I'm going to start with a cup and a half of lemon juice. And I hope this pot's going to be big enough. Cup and a half of lemon juice. A whole can, this is 46 ounces of pineapple juice. And then three cups of sugar. Now this zucchini is zucchini that I would make zucchini bread with. This is not the zucchini I would put in spaghetti sauce or that I would make some kind of casserole with or whatever. This is a dessert type zucchini so um half one half two half three all right i'm gonna get that stirred up i'm gonna get the um sugar melting I'm watching these big pipes go down the road. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna turn this on. I'm gonna turn it on low, get the sugar dissolved really well. And then I'll put my first container of zucchini and keep shredding the rest. I'll bring you back when we put it all in. Okay, everyone, I have added 16 cups of shredded zucchini to this liquid. I'm gonna bring it up to a boil 
and then let it simmer for about 20 minutes, I think is what her recipe says. And then we will jar it up. Um, let me just say, I am a huge fan of four jar lids. And I will be using about half of the jars will have four jar lids on them. Um, these are the lids that I prefer. These are the lids I prefer. Um, however, some of my jars came with lids. They were new jars. So I'm going to use those lids so I don't waste them. Um, but, and the reason being I'm using half and half this time is because not that zucchini is not important because it's very important. I'm excited about this. I've never canned zucchini before. I have froze it, but I've never canned it. Um, so, um, and it's not that it's not important. It's just that there's other things more important that will be coming in pretty soon, like my green beans, my tomatoes, um, stuff like that is more important to me. than, And so I definitely want to use my four jar lids on those. And I need to place an order pretty soon. Um, but um, that's why. So if you're interested in the four jar lids, be sure to check out my link below. There's a link and a discount code down below. Uh, you won't be sorry at all. So, okay. We're going to bring this up to a boil, then to a simmer for 20 minutes. And um, then we'll be ready to jar it up. Okay, everybody. So all I'm going to do is just ladle this with a slotted spoon. I don't have to get all the juice in there. The uh, main thing I want is the zucchini in there. So um, we're going to just put them in the jars. We're going to put the lids and rings on the jars just using my fingertips, not my whole hand, just my fingertips. We're then going to place it in a water bath. You see I have a rack down in the water bath. Listen, if you don't have a water bath canner, it's okay. Just use a big pot that you can get these pint jars and water to cover them. And you don't need a rack. If you don't have a rack, just put a kitchen towel down in the water. It's going to have water, so it's not going to catch on fire. Um, so... Um, and, but you want to be sure your jars are completely covered. So let me jar this up, then I'll tell you what we do for the next step. Okay, everyone, so the first thing I want to do is take a chopstick or a knife or something and just get out any bubbles that may be in there. And then I'm going to take some vinegar and I'm going to wipe down the rims because that sticky juice may be on it. And I have some extra juice left, so I'm also going to can that up and save it as well. That jar didn't get quite as full as the rest. So, okay. All right, let me get the juice poured up and the lids washed off, and we'll get it in the canner. Okay, guys, I got six jars, pint jars of the actual zucchini and three jars of the pineapple juice that I can use when I do more zucchini. Um, so, I'm going to place these in. I'm going to have to add water, I know. Uh, in my water bath canner and see how many I can get in here. I'm hoping I can get them all.
as they go in, the water keeps rising. So, you know, fill about halfway full and then you'll know how much water you need to add once you get all your jars in there. And we may not need any extra water because every jar, the water comes up. And this jar has got a few pieces of zucchini, but that's okay because the only thing I'm going to use this for is more zucchini, so I'm totally fine with that. All right, I think everything is completely submerged, and I have one more jar, but I may, just for good measure, add a little bit more water. Let's see. I believe we're good there. I believe we're good. Everything is submerged in the water, so I'm not going to add any more. Also, in the water, I did put a splash of vinegar, only because we have a lot of lime in our, or some type of minerals in our water that sometimes cling to the jars. So to keep my jars clean, I add a splash of vinegar to my water. So I'm going to get this turned on high. We're going to bring it to a rolling bowl. Once it boils, um, I'll put the lid on. I mean, I can put the lid on now, but I'll start my timing of when it comes to a rolling boil. We'll boil it for 15 minutes and they will be done and processed. I have that whole five gallon bucket left to do, but it ain't going to happen today. So <laughs> I will bring you back and we're going to make a squash casserole next. Just so you know, every one of my um, zucchini jars and my juice jars sealed so no problem I'm actually moving them over to another area um, and we're gonna just do a squash casserole where we're gonna just um, go through the cabinets now if you hear a rumbling in the background it's one of two different things one my dishwasher is going um, but two it is my attic fan and um, I despise even on the hottest days I despise running the air conditioner I just it I do not feel good with the air conditioner on I don't like it I love my windows open and we have an attic fan and it pulls a cool breeze or sometimes a hot breeze in from the outside and it is absolutely wonderful so if you hear that I'm sorry, but that's what that is. It is my attic fan out in the hallway that just sucks in air from outside, and I love it, except when Bryant spreads chicken litter, of course. Then it's a stinky mess. But, okay, I'm going to get everything out, and we're going to put together a squash casserole that's just raiding the refrigerator, and we're just throwing it together. This is no recipe in particular. It's just throwing stuff together. So the first thing I found in the refrigerator is this little bit of delicious sausage. This is the best sausage in the world. It is my friend's. She gave it to me. Um, it, she raised her own pig and oh, it is so good. Um, so I don't know that we'll eat it for breakfast before we go to the beach because we are selling chickens tonight, tomorrow night. Then we're going to like hit the ground running with appointments and packing and getting ready for the beach. So I'm just gonna grind this up, like break it up, brown it in my frying pan. I also have half of a fairly large onion chopped that we're gonna add in here. And um, yeah, so I'm actually, while this is frying up and I'm start, after I get it broke up, I'm going to wash my squash. Okay, everyone, so now what I'm adding in is just sliced up squash. I'm gonna do about maybe five or six, maybe seven, depending on the size. Mine range in sizes. Um, I've got some that are, you know, fairly good size. And then I have some smaller ones <laughs> like this. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure which ones we'll use, but I'm going in here with that. And then I'll put the lid on and just let that squash soften. I'll probably salt and pepper it. And I'll see you back in just a little bit. 
Okay guys, I'm gonna add a little pat of butter to this. I'm gonna wait till they soften up a little bit before I actually um, salt and pepper them because I wanna be able to stir it around. So I'm just putting little pats of butter in there. I'm gonna put the lid on and let uh, everything kind of soften up. We'll be back in just a little bit. I ended up, I think, adding one, two, three, four, five, six. I would say medium sized squash. Okay everyone, they're pretty soft. And I'm just going to salt and pepper and turn it off. I'm going to go ahead and turn the heat off. Um, just salt and pepper and stir it around until I'm ready to put this together. Not quite time for supper. I just wanted to get a head start as usual. That's kind of my normal thing is to get a head start on supper. So this is just sausage, onion, and squash that is softened and cooked so there we go all right we'll finish this up in just a little bit okay so remember this is just a throw together squash casserole this is like nothing regimented this is clean out your refrigerator squash casserole did i say chicken casserole i meant squash casserole um so I've got my squash and sausage and onions right here. It's got a little liquid in there. I'm gonna leave it. I'm not worried about it. I'm gonna put in some sour cream. I've got some butter melting in the microwave. And I'm gonna take, you know, a fairly good dollop of sour cream. Now I just raided my cheese drawer. And yes, I have a lot of shredded cheese. That's not my preference, but some, I keep it on hand for convenience sakes. And this is one of those times. So I'm going to put several good handfuls of cheddar cheese. I've got some mozzarella here. Put in a little mozzarella. And I've got some Parmesan. I don't have much Parmesan, so I'm just gonna go in with what I got. All right, so this is a multi-cheese casserole. And so what I'm gonna do now is just stir this up. I'm gonna move it off so I don't spill everything all down my spoon, I mean my stove. I say the craziest things. Y'all have probably learned that by now. I say things and it's just a good day when I catch it. <laughs> when I catch that I said the wrong thing. All right, I may put some more cheddar in this. Now what I have the uh, butter melting for is I've got some Italian breadcrumbs that I'm gonna mix with the butter and that we'll sprinkle on top. So let me just go in with a small handful of cheap cheddar. A little, one more small handful. Okay. So there we go. Doesn't that look delicious? All right, I'm gonna spray my, I got a nine by 13 casserole dish. I'm gonna spray it get the butter out and mix some breadcrumbs in it and we'll top it and then it'll be ready to go in the oven. It's not quite time, but it won't be long. Okay, I've got my casserole in the casserole dish. I've got a stick of melted butter and I'm just gonna add, this is all I can find. If I had crackers, I don't have any like the buttery crackers. There's a field full of deer <laughs> walking down my road, sorry. Um, that's not an unusual sight. It's just an unusual sight at this time of day and right there in my front yard. So, <laughs> um, so I'm going to just use this. But anyway, if I had like the buttery crackers um, uh, or whatever, but I don't. So we're using breadcrumbs. Um, now I started to put, I have a squash casserole that I put little pimentos in and I started to put them in there, but I didn't. I actually forgot. So, um, 
I'm going to start with about a cup of breadcrumbs. And we're going to stir these around. I may need to add more. I may have too much butter for just a cup. May make them too wet. Alright, I probably won't use all of this, so I can just bag this up and freeze it for another use. Um, got my oven preheating to 350. This is going to be so good. And I think that sausage in there is going to just absolutely set it off. Um, you could use, like if you had bacon bits, there's all kinds of things. I love to cook, like I'm cleaning out my refrigerator and just throw things together and see how they turn out. All right, I believe that's all I'm gonna put on there. I believe that's plenty. All right, so this is, as soon as my oven gets preheated, it's gonna go in to a 350 degree oven for approximately 20 to 30 minutes. So um, maybe 30, we may leave it 30, but it's gonna be so good. It's gonna be so good. All right, we'll see you back in just a little bit. Y'all, that squash casserole is delicious. So I hope I've encouraged you that you can just open your refrigerator, see what you have, throw it into a casserole dish, and usually make something pretty doggone good. That casserole was amazing. So, all right, thank you for watching The Farm and Pastor's Wife. I'll see you next time. Remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.